Next, we got an email all the way from Sweden, the land of ice, snow, beautiful women, and our former studio PA, Camilla. She's beautiful. I did not. Beautiful know. women like our former studio PA, Camilla. Including our former studio PA, because Camilla. Because she'll fly back here just to kick your ass. Anyway. She's a Viking. Chris writes, I'm thinking about buying an HDTV and I don't know what type to buy. LCD, plasma, LED. Everyone I've asked says different things. Some say that LCD is the way to go, but others say that plasma is easier on the eyes, and still others say that LED technology has better colors. What the heck do I do? Sign Krish from Sweden. Hmm. I, I'm just gonna say my recommendations for a new TV always starts with some basic questions. One, what is the room like? What kind of viewing distances are you dealing with? And even more importantly, what's the room lighting like? How a bright typical is Typical room it? lighting. Yeah. Is it a bright room where you have a lot of light and pro potentially like sunlight shining on a screen or not? And that will help you make some decisions. I'll get into that in a second. Also, what, what content are you most likely going to view on this TV? Is it going to be cable and satellite sources, game consoles, personal computers, DVD players? Think about that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And a related question really is, what do you plan to connect to that TV? Yeah. And do you own an AV receiver, possibly? Do you have enough ports to support everything that you currently own is really what I'm getting at there. And lastly, what your budget is. Now, when you factor all that stuff in, you can think about particularly the room lighting. If right. it's a bright room, I'm going to say right off the bat, you're going to have to drive a plasma screen pretty hard to get a really bright picture out of, picture out of it. And it's going to oh, cost you Or you're going you to have to have big old blast curtains that come down over your windows like If you I do can in my do house. that, and you're willing to do that, though, right. you can get a terrific looking picture out of a plasma display. It's mm -hmm. just that I find in a, in a typical room lighting, you've got to turn it up that vivid mode, which sacrifices picture quality in the name of producing a brighter picture. Right. Uh, LCDs, by nature, are very, very bright display technologies. Also, a viewing angle, too. I didn't get into that, but your seating position, uh, if you're going to be viewing TV typically from off to the sides a bit uh, or extreme up and down angles. Plasmas produce better looking pictures at angles. Right. So that's something else to keep Plasmas in mind. Plasmas are better for room full. Of, if you have a room full of soccer or football or watching the Olympics, there's 25 people scattered all around the room. Yeah. The periphery, the people at the corners are going to see a lot better if it's a plasma. Totally. Yeah. And the budget really goes into, well, I want you to buy the biggest screen you can afford because I always find that no matter what size screen you get, you always find a little extra room or something to get that bigger screen, and it just provides a more immersive viewing viewing experience. Now, on the LCD side of things, LED TVs are going to be the future, so pretty soon they're all going to be LED TVs. So, yes, LED has some advantages in terms of uh, color quality and picture quality, but not all of the edge-lit designs I'm seeing are created equal. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding that the first gen of those edge-lit displays are frankly pretty poor looking, and I'd be more inclined to go with a standard LCD television over an LED model in that case. But Nowadays, with the latest models coming out for 2010, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the LED stuff I'm seeing. But you're still probably going to pay a premium for that, so right. just keep that in mind. And they're all going to look amazing. Yeah. We're not even going to get into projectors or Front if, you, projector. if you want like a giant screen a really for room. no money, you can get a rear projection TV from Mitsubishi. No. Rear projection's dead. Dead? Dead. It's dead. dead. Fred? Yeah. It's, dead. it's inexpensive. If you need a giant TV. Right. Yeah. That's the way to go. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you.